Mammy Mo. Mo. What's the matter, buddy? Oh, come on, Mo. Forgive me. It was just a little kitty. Mo? You're being mean. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, uh, hey, hey, hey. Oh my goodness. Just a second, Dio. I'll get to you. Tommy's first. Hey, 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 hey. Oh my goodness. <laughs> No. No. <laughs> Why are you being so naughty? Are you jealous? Poor kid. Oh, Butters, watch out. Butters, someone's creeping up behind you. What are you looking at? You're not jealous. You're not jealous, are you, Nittany? Hmm? Oh, they're meeting eye to eye. This is So the other day I was surfing the internet and I was like, you know what's really missing? Cats! I mean I just can't find cat related content anywhere. It's like the internet doesn't even know that cats exist. So to fix this problem, I chose today to recreate these cat theme socks. This photo of cat socks was sent to me by Magpie and originally by, I don't know who. All I can find is that they're made in Korea and you seem to be able to buy them on eBay for $7 but I have some scungy old pairs of socks that need upcycling so let's see if I can recreate it. So here are those old socks that I just mentioned. I have one matching pair and a single sock whose partner I can't find anywhere so I'm going to use this sock to make the cat's ears. To make the cat ears the first thing that I did was to draw four equal sized triangles onto this sock and cut each one out cutting through both of the layers. So I ended up with eight identical triangle pieces, paired each one up, then I sewed around each ear like this, and I sewed them together using a long, wide zigzag stitch. I trimmed off the corners and the extra seam allowance, and then I turned each ear inside out. 
So now I have four cat ears. I then put the other pair of socks onto my feet to figure out where I should place the ears. And I ended up deciding to put the ears onto the front of the sock instead of on the side. This is because someone else also sent me a picture of these shoes the other day and I really liked how they looked. So the socks that I want to make are kind of a combination between both these socks and these shoes. When I figured out a good placement for each ear, I made a small pen mark on the inside of the sock and on each ear. And I also pinned them into place. Then I simply top stitched over the ear and the sock to attach the two together. Again, using a long, wide zigzag stitch. I also stretched the sock as I sewed the ears on to approximately the width of my ankle. Then, with this image as reference, I used a black permanent marker to draw a cat face onto the sock, in the middle of the sewn on ears, with something inside the sock to both stretch the sock and to protect the other side from the pen bleeding through. Now, Google told me that using a normal Sharpie would be just fine, and that the pen wouldn't run when you put it in the wash. However, if you're super concerned about this, then get yourself one of these pens. Then, I just repeated this on the other sock, and I'm done. I did and my conclusion is sorry they don't look exactly like the photo that magpie sent me because I did want to change it up a little bit and have the cat face at the front but I'm still really really happy with how they turned out and thanks to my efforts I'm now pleased to report that the internet has finally discovered cats see you all for my next video bye Bye.